I think that learning experiences are richer when they're collaborative, so it's important to find those ways to make the online classroom space a place where students feel like they can connect with each other and with me. The first thing that I do is I post a video announcement every week, um, just kind of giving students a rundown of what to expect, checking in on stuff that they might have questions about. My cat accidentally made a cameo in one of the videos last week. And that's okay, right? Because like I'm a real person and they're real people and I think it's great for everybody to remember that. And then I try to provide opportunities for my students to have their actual voice in the course as well. So we're interacting so much on a weekly basis on the annotation assignments and the discussion boards and then in my feedback on individual assignments. The fascinating thing about teaching online is the fact that I have students from all over the country, actually all over the world. And so when students are designing their own places and they're posting that and they're getting feedback from other students, we get this incredible geographic diversity. It's actually way more diverse and interesting of a student body than you would ever see in a classroom. We are piloting a tool which allows learners to engage in asynchronous conversations. Students can uh, leave an audio, a text, video comment. Je suis de in Michigan. They engage with one another, they engage with the instructor. The beauty of this uh, uh, tool is that it provides a sense of community. It's really important to me to have a strong connection with my students, even when we're never gonna actually meet physically. It's an engaged experience interacting with other human beings. 